Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, this may look like a piece of junk, but this is a 11 year old laptop. This is Lenovo S210 Touch series laptop that I bought back in 2013. And it has been working 24 by 7 for last seven years now. Uh, I have been using this as a Samba server and Plex Media server. It has one terabyte of storage, eight gigs of RAM, and a Pentium 4 second generation CPU and this has been working reliably well for last seven years as i told you and this has been running 24 by 7. it surprises me that it still has some life left and so i thought of upgrading it and use it as a nvr a ai based object detection nvr system for the home surveillance so what i've done is i've installed frigate nvr in this so basically you can connect your IP cameras with Frigate NVR and you can record the videos, video footage that is being streamed through our DSP protocol. But the object detection uh, requires heavy processing. And so I thought of upgrading this with this MPCI Coral TPU. This is a Google uh, Coral TPU that I'm going to install. And this is basically a mini uh, PCI Google TPU card. So I'm going to replace that Wi-Fi card with this Coral TPU and we are going to see if this is detected or not and if it works or not. So let's just do that. Let's just open up this uh, laptop, disassemble it and look inside and replace this card. So I'm going to open this up. This is partly broken but still working. And that surprises me every time because I had a Dell laptop also, which is 7000 series that I bought back in 2016 and that one day died. I don't know for what reason, but I was working on it and it suddenly shut down and never woke up again. And we found out that uh, the CPU is dead. So there was no solution but to replace the motherboard. So I did not invest in that. Instead, I kept using this one, otherwise I would have used that one, uh, which was more powerful. Anyways, uh, we are inside, we are looking inside the laptop. This is S210, as I said, and this has this mini PCI Wi-Fi card. So we are going to remove this. So we'll remove these cables first, and then we'll unscrew this. and gently remove it. Once this is removed, uh, you can see this is the Wi-Fi card that we just removed and this is the Coral TPU MPCI card. Same size, so it should be compatible with this. But we don't know if this will be detected or not. So let's go ahead and install it. All we have to do is gently push it and then use the screw to hold it in its position. Now this Coral TPU card is installed perfectly fine and I'm going to just push these wires below. These are antenna wires by the way so you don't have to worry about it in case you if you are going to install a Coral TPU card by replacing your Wi-Fi card. So I'm going to just press it. There's only one screw holding this entire case right here. And then I have this broken piece to just hide the internals. It's all broken, but <laughs> it's still working and it's working 24 by seven. Huh. Now this is ready for now. So I'll just show you the condition of this laptop I mean it can't be worse and by the way there's no battery because the battery uh, just died and that is one of the best thing that I came to know like after I removed this battery pack I came to know that whenever the power code is, is uh, connected to this laptop it automatically turns on so I don't have to worry about turning on this laptop every time the power goes off and comes it just automatically boots. 
like my Intel NUC uh, server. So Intel NUC, they boot automatically and I don't have to do any setting. It's just the default behavior of this laptop. Your laptop might also work. Just try removing the battery pack and connecting the power cord. Your laptop might also start automatically and that would be like uh, one of the best thing. But if you have battery, well, that will power up that laptop until the power comes back. Anyways, we are going to connect the power and then connect it to the network and then we'll access this Ubuntu server using SSH. So let's just do it. So let's connect to our Lenovo server. It must be turned on now. So we'll just select that. We have an option to log in. So let's enter the username and the password. Yes, we are into this. Now we have to run a command to detect, to see basically if the core LTPO is detected or not. So finger crossed, let's just enter the command. So this is the command that you have to enter and press the enter key. Voila. <laughs> ah, I feel really happy that this is successfully detected. So yes, if you have an old laptop with a MPCI slot, you can basically use the Coral Edge TPU MPCI module and replace your Wi-Fi card with this one and you can have a powerful AI based object detection and NVR system, home surveillance system. So now that this has been detected, next we need to install the drivers and then add it to our frigate server. So let's just do that. You can find all these commands in the links given in the description. So I'm not going to show everything here. All you have to do is enter those commands and this, these drivers will be installed. And once these are installed, you have to reboot your server and then paste this command and see what it outputs. So yeah, it is outputting the global uni chip cop core LHTPO and this means that drivers are successfully installed and this is uh, working with our system. Next, uh, the most important thing is that mm -hmm. we have to add this to our, you know, frigate server, which will enable us to reduce the inference speed, basically the speed to detect object from 200 milliseconds on existing CPU to less than 10 milliseconds. So it will be like real time object detection. So let's do that. So for that, what we need to do is we need to open the frigate configuration file. So I'm running home assistant and I've used, a, and I've used frigate proxy to connect uh, the frigate server to my home assistant server. So I'll just show you. This is frigate proxy. I've used this. This is the IP of my Lenovo server. So we'll open the web UI and you can see the footage. So yeah, let's just go to configuration editor. And here, all you have to do is add this line. If you already have cameras listed here, uh, and you did not have the Coral uh, card installed, after installing that, uh, if you have like USB card, you have to mention USB uh, and the slot number. But here we have installed the PCI version, MPCI version specifically on this laptop. So we are going to paste this and then click on save and restart. And once this is restarted, we'll see uh, CPU usage reduced and uh, lower inference speed. So let's wait for it to restart. And once this is restarted, we can go to the stats. And you can see that the detector inference speed is 8.69. So yeah, this is working with our frigate server. And with the help of this Coral TPU card, we have made it even better, the system even better. And now not only we can use it for like network storage and Plex Media Server, but also an intelligent AI based object detection and NVR system, uh, which works like fantastically well with the help of Google's Coral TPU, which is a machine learning accelerator that processes these object detection quickly, very, very fast. Because this is now installed, we don't have to worry about like missing video files or like delayed object detection. 
so this uh, everything will be working in real time and recordings will be saved based on motion and object detection so we'll be saving on the storage also unlike normal nvr where we record 24 by 7 using this coral tpu and machine learning thing this intelligently records video of motion detected before and after also so this is one of the most intelligent nvr system that you can build today and run on a, any old you know ancient laptop a decade old laptop now who would have thought that this is going to work i mean i tried to find a lot of uh, you know i did my research on reddit and everywhere i was not able to conclude that whether this is going to work or not so i played a gamble by buying this one and it worked successfully for me so if you have an old laptop you can basically use it repurpose it for your home security and one of the best part is that you can also integrate it with home assistant to create various automation for example i have automation set which uh, turns on the light whenever the person is detected not the motion but the person so lights will turn on only when the person is detected or you can also set it to dog cat if you have uh, pets but other than that uh, if any other object is detected or any other motion is detected this is not going to trigger anything so yeah that is one of the best thing about Frigate and why I wanted to install it because I'm running Home Assistant Server. And anyway, if even if you are not running Home Assistant Server, this is going to save you a lot of storage and you will be able to, you know, don't have to waste your time by reviewing entire footage. But this is going to give you those, you know, clips which you can click quickly review wherever the motion of the person is detected. I mean, however you have set it up. So yeah, this was all in this video. I hope you found this video helpful and learned something new today. And if you find this video helpful, please, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, your support is very important to keep uh, creating such videos. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching and have a great time.